few people replied to the last question of the week saying that, yes, they'd be interested in doing a bit of a dive into Node's FS module, which allows you to interact with files on your local machine. So let's do that. Today we're going to talk about the basics and then read a couple of files. Next time we'll look at writing files and maybe some other utilities. As you may have noticed, it's somewhere between difficult and impossible to work with the local machine's file system through the browser using JavaScript. This is a good thing because a World Wide Web on which any website could nuke your entire hard drive, if it felt like it, would probably not have been very popular. Node's not a website, though. It's an application platform that runs locally, and that means it can access your file system, if you want it to. That's really useful, especially if you're interested in using Node to write little utility apps. Let's say you wanted to open a CSV file, read it, convert it to JSON, and save the resulting output to disk. Well, we can do that very easily and we're going to over the next two tutorials. To run this tutorial, we'll need to set up a Node instance. We've done that before in JS Quick Hits 32. So here's the Quick Hits version. First, you'll need the following for package.json. I'll leave this up for a second. Once you have that, make sure to run npm install in your terminal. That'll get you the CSV to JSON module, which we'll be using to, wait for it, convert CSV to JSON. Once that's done, you'll need these two example data files. First, we've got authors.csv, which highlights a few horror authors, and also Anne Rice, who is debatably not a horror author. Why? Because I like horror novels. And shameless self-promotion alert, sometimes write and publish them. Anyway, here's authors.csv. And we'll need a second file, example.txt, which contains a short sentence for us to ingest. Here's the entire file. Try to contain your excitement. Now that we've got those files in place, create one called index.js. We can get started. First, we'll need to import our modules. FS is a part of Node, but you still have to require it. Then we also need CSV to JSON. Here are the lines. Okay. Secret fact about CSV to JSON, it can actually read files directly without you having to manually use FS. It just uses FS internally. But this isn't a tutorial about CSV to JSON, so we're going to do it manually. Here's the code to grab our author data synchronously, and then convert it to a string. Save that, and if we switch to our terminal or command prompt and run node index.js or npm start, That gives us a blob of CSV data as a string in our console. That's nice, but we're looking for JSON, so let's do the conversion. Note that the following is an asynchronous function, so if your code needed to wait on this result, you'd want to wrap the whole thing in an async function so you could use a wait. We're not worried about that here, so let's keep it simple. Like this. Save that. Run it again. Oh, let's put a separate in. Awesome. We've read a file from the file system and converted it to JSON. Next week, we'll talk about saving that JSON. But before we go, you should know that FS can also read files asynchronously and then act on them with a callback. Let's read and then log our example text file using this code. We have to put our separator in here because this is asynchronous. Save that. Run it again. And there we go. See how that works? It reads the file and when it's done, runs the callback, which is the anonymous function we pass as the second argument the one that takes error and data as arguments. This is a super common pattern, although it's slowly being replaced by async await, which is a nice way to avoid callback hell. We covered async await in JS Quick Hits 15. That's it for this week. See you next week, which happens to be Black Friday in the US, the day after Thanksgiving, when all of the stores start their sales and a crush of humanity descends upon them in a truly magnificent display of capitalist frenzy. But don't worry, JS Quick Hits will be here. 
In case you want to avoid being trampled by a desperate parent hoping to get whatever this year's version of a Furby is, you can hang out and learn more about the Node file system instead. See you then.